when it's written in the Bible. God said to Ezekiel, prophecy to the bones. The ancient Tibetans knew this. So even they have a meditation called whacking the bones. Does anybody know that? Hitting the bones. Talk to your bones. Talk to your bloodstream. What is the most important force in your physical body? What is the most important force, sir? Which is the most important force in your body? The force of moon. If you look at the earth, this planet, it has more water, is it not, than land. And who has the most influence on the water? Moon. Your body is made up of 78% water, is it not? So the most important force in your body is to the moon. Communicate to the moon. Communicate to the sun. If you do not have sun, what happens? There is no creativity in your life. You need sun in your life. And we take sun energy through the shoulders, through the hip, through our ankles. Your prayer should be to the moon spirit and to the sun spirit. Can you change karma? Religion has used karma to tie people, make them slaves. I have a sister here in Bangalore. I am from Bangalore originally, but I left in 1982. My sister has a PhD degree. If anything happens, she will run to the priest in the temple to do some prayer and offering. But look at her life. Still struggling all the time for money struggle and no peace of mind. We have used karma to tie people up. Even we have an even yoga called karma yoga. Dear one, karma can easily be shifted. Karma is simply energy. And what is karma? Karma is two words. Kar and ma. Kar means intention. Ma means action. So kar is most important. Even in the justice system, when something happens, you kill somebody by accident, it's called manslaughter. But if you kill by deliberate intent, you get more punishment, is it not? So karma is more important. But then karma has many levels. Your own karma. Indirect karma. You watch something happening to somebody. You did not take part. But you are affected by that. Family karma, big time. Country karma. Plants, animal karma, and of course, star karma. Why? We are also born in different stars to learn different life lessons. And when we are born in other star system, we create again law of cause and effect. We create a lot of star karma. You must heal all the star karma. And where is the karma held in your physical body? On the shoulders. Why do you think we have lines in our hands? And what does a good palmist say? He can read your future, is it not? We look into the lines. But he also tells you, if you change the lines, you can change your future. Karmic energy flows into your palms, flows into the back of the body. So when you have back pain, it's coming from karmic energy. If your left hip pains, it's coming from mother's five generations. If you have a right hip pain, is coming from your father's seven generations. How do you create beliefs? Most of the beliefs are ancestral beliefs we have carried, plus what we have been told, and especially the story books. When we were young, we were, our parents used to read the stories. Beliefs come from them. Why? Dear one, when we die, our energy is split into three parts. One third of the energy, we will take it to the other side. One third of the energy, we leave it in the ground where we are born. This is why sometimes, when you go to certain places, you will feel very good because you will say, I have been here. But the third part of the energy, you leave it to your family members, up to seven generations. And this one third energy also contains all the belief systems and restrictions and all their understanding about God and everything else. They are giving it to you. 
And what are some of the greatest belief system we carry? God is not attainable. We have a punishing God. We have a ritual, a ceremony to please God. How many of you pray to God out of love or out of fear? How about you, sir? Do you pray to God out of love? Karmic energy at you. Can we shift karmic energy? Yes. You like to have one volunteer. Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Just one volunteer. I'll show you. You would like it to practice. Please come. Chakra. We have two other chakras called Alpha and Omega. We have 144 chakras in our etheric energetic field. We have 144 DNA strands. We must activate higher chakras. Right now we are working with the 33rd chakra called Adam Chakra. When we activate and heal the karmic energy, we can open the higher chakras within us. Come here, brother. minutes, you will shift a lot of karmic energy from here. Many times when you do it, you will feel like something is moving out. You will feel first heaviness and a lightness can come into the body. Minimum 21 days for 15 minutes. But initially, if you want to have some result, 8 minutes for 13 days. Why we do for 8 minutes? Because we are working with the 8 different bodies at the same time called innate bodies. This is why many times, when there is healing, healing happens only that moment. But when you go back after two, three days, it comes back again, is it not? We are not able to break out of the belief systems. If you want to have a change, change will never happen in the human mind. Change must happen in the physical body. You want to have healing about belief system, heal the physical body. Body is the key. Bring healing to the body. Join the animal brain, the instinct brain, with the God brain. Your instinct brain is a brain of survival, fight or flight. We live on fear base. If you just move your hand like this for three minutes a day, 
you will be able to maintain your higher frequency light. Yes. Now, dear one, our beliefs affect our genes, and our genes affect our DNA. What is the most important DNA we carry? The DNA given to us by the Pleiadian beings, the DNA shaped like a pyramid structure, and that is centered right in your sternum area. One of the most important DNA we must work is the DNA about the beliefs about God. That DNA is around our navel, shaped like a chainsaw. So this DNA is very active in human beings. So when this is active, we are always afraid of God. Any situation happens in life, God is either punishing us or rewarding us. So we make a barter with the God. God, I give you 10 ladu to Tirupati temple. Give me 10 zeros in the bank. Come on guys. Does God need money? Come on guys. Does God need money? But why do we give? In the hope that you will get back in return. Is it not? Most people try to bribe God. Is it not brother Suresh? Dear one, work with this. You will release the fear of God. Actually, this belief drives our entire life. We are trying to find God in every moment of our life. Through our job, relationship, acquisitions, everything, we are trying to find God. You can only find God within yourself. Stand still. And know that you are God. Dear one, time to come back into your heart. Simple moments. I'd like to show you one more person. Take your shoes off, sir. Now, on the two toes, we have two big DNA. Please sit down, sir. What this will do? It will release your energy connection to the ground. Your connection to gravity. When there is no gravity in your body, you are more open to new and higher truth. When there is more magnetics in the ground, people will not change. Look at Middle East. Too much magnetics. People don't change. Look at Virginia, Connecticut, New Hampshire. Much more magnetics. People are still very conservative. Look at San Francisco. Very less magnetics. People are more open. New age started there. Is it not, dear one? So when we have more magnetics in the physical body, we will hold on to our old, old, old belief system and we will say, this is the truth. Can you open to one thing and say, there is much more to God than what I have been told. Are you willing to open to that? Or you will say, I found everything in Upanishad. I found everything in Veda. Yes, there is truth in Veda too. But there is also a higher truth. And I am open to receiving this higher truth. Are you willing to open to that, dear one? Open your right palm, brother. Right palm. Bring your left hand like this. Clockwise. Does anybody feel any energy? Can you feel energy? Yes. What, 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 is, what is going to happen? If you do it for 21 minutes, sorry, 21 days, for 8 minutes, 
you will be start clearing your emotional body and past karmic energy regarding your emotions in your hands where is your power point in the body where is the power point is it in the mind of course not in your pranic tube which is in the back of the body called the pranic tube this pranic tube contains your interdimensional higher aspects what does it mean you have seen pictures of indian gods with many heads and many hands is it not what are they telling you they are showing you your own possibilities of interdimensional reality we as a human being exist in 12 different planet simultaneously and what of this truth live in your back of the body pranic tube yes hmm? breathe into this pranic tube every day open this tube the more you open the more soul energy will come into you finally there are many many dna which must be deactivated and one of the dna we carry is called poverty consciousness dna shaped like a black lotus situated 2 inches on the left hand side of the hip area we must deactivate many many sicknesses cancer and many sicknesses when it happens you must communicate to the body and say i am deactivating the dna of this particular cancer i am deactivating the sickness the dna of this particular anything dear one there are 144 dna strand totally there are many to be activated many to be deactivated you as a human being are powerful powerful human beings come back into yourself come back into your body and simply say i am ready to open up to the inherent energy which i have in my life and i'm willing to look at god in a new way a god who is my friend whom i can communicate not just one way every day communicate to the god tell me god what it is i need to know at this time in my life like this there are 65 hand positions you can move the energy when you move the energy dear one you are moving the karmic energy karma is simply energy coming here to balance it out you are born here for two reasons to balance the karmic energy and also to learn the 12 life lesson you have come here to master and all these are contained in the pranic tube in the back of the body come back into yourself and say i am ready to activate all the energy simply last one we'll give open your palms right palm just right palm and we will make a sound and you will feel energy in your hands okay close your eyes everybody repeat after me nine times mehar 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 just anybody feel anything in your palms some energy some tingling what is the meaning of mehar i awaken the god within me there are certain sounds sounds from the hebrew language aramic and certain sanskrit because these three languages came from the galactic origin so the frequencies are much higher so if any sound made in ancient hebrew very powerful for example the name of god in english many time it said i am that i am very powerful but same thing ehi ye ashu ehi ye in hebrew much more deeper 
Same way, when you use galactic sound, you will be able to awaken the energy. So it simply means, I join with the God that I am through my palms. This is the meaning when you see many masters pointing their hands and light coming out. I have joined with myself, the God that I am. Thank you all. And thank you, Dr. Hegde. Incidentally, my work, they have been doing some research in Harvard, in Vietnam, and also some Ayurveda college in Dehradun. Especially some of this work. Some of the doctors are very open to this, and they are doing some experiment with this. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Believes. I just say 80 or 90 percent of the mass of people are not education, ed educated, but they are still believe. And when I'm here, I still believe that we believe one. Because I see, when I came here, I see some of you has a red dot here and gray dot here, and that's also the mass I have. And we believe, we believe that we are not on the path place, but we are on the same continent. We are on the same earth. And the only medicine, and the only security, and the only safe life of everyone, just only us, just only human. We don't need to shift, and we don't need to shed ourselves. I live in the land whereby I see a lot without reading papers, and without listening to the radio, and without listening TV, and without having store of having food. And I still believe in life. I still believe in life. Um, actually, um, when you think of... Uh, People, human, we say there is enemies. There is no enemies. You see people having guns. You see people having spears. You see people having... It is nothing for the world to think of weapon. The best weapon is the tongue to protect and to, to be careful of what we are speaking, of what we are talking. And I grown up in the village. Even I came out of the village. I don't live in the city. Not that I hate the city, but that's where I came from. That's that's me. And um, Judy and Mr. Shesh, when they met me, I have my shukas. When you come to Kenya, you still see me. I'm still here. My shoes for more than 15, 20, 20, 15 years. It's the leftovers of tire shoes from the car. The belief is simple. The belief is simple. Yeah? And I just want to tell you, the belief is simple. When you think good, that's the only belief. I have one of my friends visit home at Mass Island. I live in Mass Island. I grown up as a chief, I grown up as a leader, I grown up as a medicinal person. My mother, she was a medicine woman. She was a strong woman, and she's the one give me the strong energy and to believe the ancestors. One of, uh, you know, one of uh, the European, I don't remember, but one of the European came to my village. You know, I do cultural things. I bring people to understand about medicinal and respect medicinal plants and any surrounded life family of you. He came into the hut 
the heart you just get in and you bend. And the heart is something like eight meters or eight feet by eight by eight. And that's there is bed, there is a room for goats, there is a, um, a kitchen, uh, you know, there is fire inside. And then uh, this friend of mine from Europe, he asked, wow, the heart is dark. Yeah? Why is the food? He's trying to look for the store. Why is the food? Yeah. So, and also, the belief is completely, completely peaceful and love. Peaceful and love. And I remember one thing, one of my elders teach me that why we have problem, problem now. Why you, you know, why we hear people fighting, we hear a lot of diseases, we hear a lot of drought, and other big problem coming to personal life. I did not answer, but I don't know if it is true, but he, he answered and he said, the sad people make all this trouble. The sad died people, not the sad living, the s sad died people, because they are still alive. They are still protecting you. They are still, you know, next to you all the time, coming through your dreams, coming through your face, coming through your stepping. 